started right from down there, working my way up to various positions until I got to this kind of position I'm in today. So I can say that it was through hard work and a lot of sacrifice and a lot of fighting and hitting heads together and trying to be... When I, when I say um, fighting, I mean different aspects of fighting. For instance, I, I've always had to fight to prove myself because you see, when you're in this industry and some very tough assignments come up and some other interest assignments you're know, out on the field and all that, they just think automatically, let's give it to a guy to do it. The woman cannot do it. But why is it so? We can do it and do it better. So I have had to fight for that kind of recognition and I think that most of that had to do with it. Now being aggressive is also important. But it's, it's not all the time that when you're aggressive you get what you want. You see, it's a strategy and it's a combination of certain things and you know, you know how you should know how to manage people, you should know how to move through the system and also be fair and focused on what you want to do. One of them was having to prove myself over and over again. I mean, uh, when, when, you, when you're a man in this kind of industry, for instance, you take it for granted that whatever they give you to do, you'll be able to do it. If you have to be hard, you have to go out in the field, even sleep out in the open, or even be without change of clothing for five days, it's like a man can do that and a woman cannot. So basically, those were some of the things that I, I had to face. And also, challenges of, um, how should I say, the traditional way of how women, women are generally looked at and seen as kind of a sexist um, behavior from male colleagues and not only male colleagues but also men out there who you have to interview and who you are looking for information from because you find out that when you go seeking for information even if it's from a guy it is, there's always a tendency that they want to make advances at you because they think that oh, you know, she's a after all See, so you have to have some kind of depth and knowledge about what you're doing. It's not just a matter of going to sit there and presenting you. Mm. It's not as easy as that. <laughs> some people have the flair for it. Some people do not. Some people are born to it, basically. Mm. Some people are really not. And some people need to strive to get the best to do this. Add something to your life, not just want to go there and read news or do a presentation. You have to add value to everything that you do. You have to remain focused. You should know exactly what you want to do. And also when you get the opportunity to go into media houses, do some kind of attachment or like that, don't stay behind the scenes. Don't stay. Always reach out there and do your best. Don't just you know, just stay behind the mirror and say, you know, I'll just do enough to get me through.